Dewsbury TV. Music Mag. <laughs> Hi and welcome to this week's episode of Local Music Mag with me, Anna Seed. I've been joined by Boxing Club. Hello. Hello. All right. Hello. <laughs> Josh. That's me. It was your idea, wasn't it, to create this band? It was. Aye. About, what, about three years ago? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. We were in, we were actually in the station in Jewsbury. Oh we were watching one of Switch bands. Don't playing. say, oh dear. Jewsbury's dying. We need to help yeah, well, them out. We need to help the place out. Yeah. So we used to try to drink local, encourage the town, you know. <laughs> anyway, watched one of Switch's old bands and we just decided there, uh, I decided there, how about we start a band? And everyone were up for it and there we go, there we go. And the rest is history. Yeah. All right then. So Ben, who does all the songwriting? I do everything. I do everything. We right. don't even play right. on the, the tracks. tunes, <laughs> sing the tunes. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I generally write songs um, or have ideas of songs. I tend to just record them on my phone and email them to these two, and then you know just put a little note saying it's in key or C, figure something out, and then we'll meet up down here. And we tend to just jam stuff out, really, you know, get get a good bass for a song down, and then we'll go away again. You know, and it's just all about we just go away, come back with a few more bits. Eventually, we we get there, don't we? Mm. You know. A collaborative process, I guess you'd call it. Tends to work the best way, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, then nobody feels too left out, do they? Everyone's got their bits in there and it works for harmonious living. Yeah. Well, so that's what it's all about. So, do we call you Rich or do we call you Swift? Uh, what is it? Swift? Swift. We'll, we'll go by Rich, that's my uh, proper title. Your surname's Swift, and somewhere along the way it became Swift. Not by us, this was years and years no, ago. No, there were a kid who went to primary school where he couldn't say his F's. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's, I don't even know that. That's <laughs> literally where it came from. How did it get by with no Fs in his vocabulary? Well, I'm sure, I'm sure he developed them, but he couldn't do it when we were like five. So, so like Freddy's became Eddie's and... Hey, Jonathan Ross made a very good living out of not being able to say certain letters. Yeah. That's true. I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll go with Rich. All right then, Rich. <laughs> so what bands were you in before you met these guys and what made you come over? To the dark side that is boxing club. <laughs> uh, well, just general bands around uh, around Wakefield. Um, obviously, quite a decent scene in Wakefield when I was kind of young. Players were still kind of open and McDermott's and things like that. A big kind of rock metal scene in Wakefield when I was kind of 16, 17. And it kind of spawned from that. I in a, a few kind of bands of that ilk. Uh, my other main band, uh, Vine, which I'm still in, that's kind of still going. But the, I mean, the main reason for me joining these boys. Uh, knowing Josh from uh, Wakefield College, where he was a student and I was teaching, um, just to be in something a bit simple. Most of the bands I've been in, uh, something just over complicated, either too many members, maybe like two, three guitarists, or musical style was a bit too uh, adventurous. Had lots of mad prog bands and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then when Josh kind of said three piece, I mean, originally the idea was three piece blues, and I just thought, you know what, why not? It's just it's something a bit out of what I do. And I wasn't really playing drums that much in other bands. I, I tried a bit of bass, a bit of guitar. So that was the kind of reason for doing it. Just trying to get back to simple, just nice, normal music, nothing too frilly. And that's not an offensive thing, you know. It's just, it's just what I wanted to do. Something just bare bones, a bit more just back organic. To basic, back yeah. to basics, rock and roll, isn't it? It's not like mm, yeah. not trying to be too clever about it. Oh, just, just a rock band, really, aren't they? Don't have to think yeah. about time signatures and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, just bang it out, just just blast it out, you know, make it loud and fun, I guess. Four four, foot to floor. Mm. See? It's what people like, you know. You hear all that pop music on radio and that. The reason people can bob their head to it is because it's in four four. You start playing stuff that's in seven eight and mm. going into six four and stuff. That's for a a different crowd, isn't it? You know, it doesn't apply to everybody, so. I think people can listen to us and take something they like from everything we play, you know yeah, what I guess mean? we just want it to be easy to hear, you know? Yeah. We don't want it to be too hard for people to understand what your sing songs are about or whatever. Just just easy, just easy banging songs, I guess. 
Do you know what I mean? You don't have to think too hard about it. Just put it on in your car. Although you will speed up when you're listening <laughs> to it. Yeah, you're that's the really thing though, isn't it? With rock and metal music, it's a little bit, so you tend to go a bit faster. Yeah. You're going to play us a track. Which one are you playing for us? We're playing Down to the River. Training. This is a, uh, there's no recordings of this apart from this one, I believe. Right. Uh, how did we do it on that live EP? Well, we're doing it again. <laughs> right. This is yeah. live, live recording of it. We'd like to say you heard it here first. This is yeah, Down to the River. That's the one. Music Mag. Is it safe to come in or am I going to get my head bitten off? I'm busy. Why? What's happened? I'm filming a trailer for my new show, Jordan Soapy Bits. Oh. I'll suit yourself. Well, go on then, what are you waiting for? I'm filming Jordan Soapy Bits. It's about the soaps. You know, everything you need to know. I've got gossip, I've got trailers, I've got the latest comings and goings. It's Jordan Soapy Bits on Dewsbury TV. Get it watched. More important things on my mind. Oh. Jordan's soapy bits. It's hot. Jewsbury TV. And we're back. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was fab. Um, guys, tell us a little bit more about how we can get in touch with you, go see your gigs and all that sort of stuff. Go, Josh. My phone just went off, sorry. Oh, hey. Really? I've got... Fr I have no friends, but anyway, that just happened. Uh, <laughs> Do you just, feel social, all just all the social network sites, just put boxing club with a K in, and 
Boxing, just, yeah. just, boxing, boxing club, club yeah, yeah. And you'll find us. So we're on Facebook, SoundCloud, Twitter. We've got a YouTube channel. Um, Bandcamp. Bandcamp page. Yeah, you can download his EPs free from his Bandcamp page. But the best thing to do is go to boxingclub.co.uk, and that takes you straight to a page where there's links to all these sites on there. Right. And just take your pick. But yeah, generally, Bandcamp's where his music is. It's on SoundCloud as well, but benefit of Bandcamp is you can download it if you like, so you can download EPs. Um, you have the option to donate if you like. You can donate. Donating is a good idea. To back, so you can, if you feel that these bands are all right, I want to give them a bit of money to see them on. Well, this is it, because how option. much does it cost to put an EP and stuff together and go to all these gigs and do all the rehearsing and all that sort of thing? It's not cheap. It's, uh, it's that stacking up, doesn't it? Depends on quality, doesn't it, and all that, you know, it depends what you want to go for, but we like to go for quality, yeah. so as last EP cost, cost a fair bit, you know, and... Yeah, all said and done, like, we, by the time we finish, because there's not just, there's time in studio recording it, there's, then you've got to have them printed up, you know, yeah. I've, I've, so you, you, you can sort of DIY stuff, you know, you can print labels at home and put them on CDs and stuff, but we thought, you know what, Spend a bit of money, it's make a quality product that not only looks good but sounds good as well. Well, this is it, you're and looking that for might a encourage professional people. thing. Yeah, that might yeah. just encourage people to give us a, a couple of quid, you know. So, you can download it free off there if you like, but you have the option to donate. Or as gigs, we do actually sell the hard copies for two quid. Right. Um, so that's really cheap, two pound for an EP, that's... Yeah, I mean, we're only asking two quid. It's not, that, it's not a lot of money, but you're getting a physical disc, so you are having a physical thing you can hold. Whereas with download, we just give people the choice because, you know, it's up to you if you want to donate. But I think with download, you're just getting a file out, you're not holding a, a physical thing. That's why we charge for discs, but mm. Mm. not necessarily for downloads. All right. And where's your next gig at? Where can we go see you live? Uh, we're playing in Edmund Wyke on 21st of March. That's next gig um, at the Comrades Club. We sort of, we try not to gig dead often. Um, like some bands say, oh, just gig all the time, gig all the time, but I don't know, if you gig all the time, you, you're you not making an event of that gig, you know, so we, we try to spread it out, so we maybe just do one a month, right. that way it's more like I want to go see that band again, not I have seen this band four times this week already, <laughs> so we try to, do you know what I mean, we, yeah. so we try to spread it out so it's more like, oh, end of month, boxing club are playing, and it's a bit of a an event then I guess rather than put it in the diary yeah, you know yeah, you can put it, it yeah. in your diary this, that is, a date, bit, you this is a date for your diary guys yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's the next one um, when is it again 21st of March at Comrades Club at my mic right it's going to be good definite mm. date for the diary I think we're, we're headlining that one as well oh you know, wow so uh, yeah we're going to smash it to pieces absolutely blow it roof off as we always do mm. beware comrades you may need a new roof <laughs> 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 now I've seen you before um, when I popped into Clack Eaton Online Radio Studios you yep. were being interviewed by was it John and Moo John and Moo yeah. Yeah, yeah and you were doing an acoustic set so I didn't get to meet you Rich no I was uh, expecting my child at that time she was late I believe oh. so that's why I didn't want to make an appearance but the boys did me proud so <laughs> yeah they did and plus acoustic set I don't really do a lot so Made it made a bit more sense. Well, not me, me could have got one of them. What's them? Cajon. Cajons. Cajon. You could have had a blast on one of them. They aren't bad, those. No, no, they're not. They're all right, yeah. Yeah. No, well, when we did the acoustic EP, my part were an old, kin uh, an old tin of cat food filled with rice, and I just shook that. See, you can make an <laughs> instrument out of oak, can't you? DIY, <laughs> DIY. Times are hard. Times are hard, that's all. <laughs> and you've had a little girl. A little girl, yeah. Oh. Yeah. In November. Yeah. Smoking. She'll be a Scorpio, won't she? Yep, yeah, same as me. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah. You have to watch them, you know, Scorpios that are a bit wild. Yeah, she she makes me and the missus uh, and, our, uh, and our keeper at the minute, so yeah, <laughs> all good, all good. <laughs> Another reason to go and see him live and to donate some money to him, because <laughs> he's got kids to feed. <laughs> yeah, got marbles to feed now. <laughs> For all you mothers out there, he does rock his baby to sleep to the sounds of boxing club. Oh, so, uh, quality you know, dad. Get, get down and get the uh, get downloading. Fun for all the family. <laughs> <laughs>
The next track we're going to play is um, Where the Lovers by The Hijacked. So this week we're on location because the band are too big and too loud for our very little <laughs> rehearsal, uh, for our little studio. It's just, and they're amazing. So we had to come to their rehearsal space in Harbury. Take it in. Take it all in. I'm liking the ceiling. It's really lots of purple. Uh, feel, you can feel rock and roll energy coming out of this room through the camera. 
I know, I like the little twinkly lights that you did specially for us. I think that's, that's fab. Yeah, we did I that appreciate it. For you. Yeah, we don't normally go to that effort. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're all Josh's idea. What it? We're all eight of us, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are. I know, they they are like right. uh, the film Elf, though, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like Santa's grotto a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In February. And some of the lights you've got on the drum kit, your mum, the your mum's? Yeah, my mum's uh, kitchen under counter lights. We swiped them. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to do what you got to do, haven't you? You do. Yeah. <laughs> Beg, steal and borrow. That's it, That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, we went to all this time. My mother's, she's chipped in today. It's just so it's a bit more special for you guys, you know. This isn't all about us, you know. I, I, I you appreciate it. Down, I appreciate you it. Know, and enjoy yeah. the experience. We're from at, Chick after all. Down at Shabby Road. Yeah. Is that what we're calling the rehearsal space? Shabby Road? Well, well that's, that's a suggested name. Right. Rocktagon. Rocktagon. I reckon. It's not octagon shaped though, guys. That's a problem, that, that's yeah. a problem, yeah. Rocktangle, maybe? Rocktangle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many more shapes I can get into that. Nah. nah. There's a competition there, isn't there? Yeah. There you go. Get yeah. yourself involved. <laughs> get on our Facebook. Come Free up with some CD quality for anyone who gets yeah. a good name for us. <laughs> Free CD? Yeah. Free CD. Oh, Free I'm in CD. for that. Yeah. I'm in for a bit of that. Yeah. Definitely. Just got a boxingclub.co.uk. Give us your suggestions. The one we like the most, we'll give a CD to. That's fair, isn't it? That's I fair, is that, is. Josh? That is that's fair. fair. I think that's fair. That is fair. Here's a question. Do you have any other merchandise besides your CDs? Do you have, like, T-shirts or mugs or key rings or something like that? Like well, you know, we that one in the budget, yeah. I'm afraid. <laughs> we did have some Ace T-shirts before when we were called Boxing Club with oh, a C. Oh, with a C. Fortunately, if you type Boxing Club with a C into Google, you just will never find us, ever, because you just get loads of actual boxing clubs. So instead we changed a C to a K, and now... Now you can find it. Yeah. So my idea it. again. Well, that your idea? <laughs> you <laughs> see, Josh has got all the best ideas. <laughs> there you go. It's not so much, nice. but when he does, it's always a thriller. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we had loads of old t-shirts, and we had to just get rid of them all, so we just gave them all away, mm. and we got rid of them. Yeah. So they still float about. If anybody's got one, send us a picture of yourselves wearing it. Hey, that'd be good. Yeah, let's see them. Let's see the mm. old school boxing club t-shirts. Keep it clean, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. please. All private messages please are non-clean clean. ones to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you something about some of the bands that you've seen live. What's <laughs> the best band you've seen live? The best? Mm. When I watched yourselves back. <laughs> <live at home. laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no. no, a big a big band that we're into at the minute. Uh, I'll let you word it if you want. So we went to see Middleman the other week in yeah. Leeds at the Brunel Social Club, and supporting them is a band we've seen a few times. They've got a bit of a naughty name. So I don't know if I can say it, but it's that f mm, tank. Um, oh, TFT. 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 Yeah, also that should give you a bit of <laughs> extra clues. <laughs> now they're an instrumental sort of rock band, but there's a two piece, of just guitar and bass, uh, and drums, sorry. But the guitarist has got the most amazing baritone silver guitar. It's, it's all silver. It's amazing. Oh, and so it's just, a thing of beauty. Oh, yeah. And it, they just sound, I can't believe the sound they get just for two of them. It's absolutely monstrous. If the musicians got night, like, I'd like some kind of knighthood. That's what your weapon would be. Yeah, you know what I mean? Silver axe. <laughs> yeah. Silver axe. Silver <laughs> axe. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best thing you've ever seen. So they're definitely one of the I need to go see them just for this. He also, can I just experience. can we just say this? When they finish a song, he always finishes a song by doing this. And that's how you know they're done. Because they have no vocals, it's just instrumental. So when they're done, just puts his hand up and yeah, it's right. brilliant. Does he smile at all? Not much. Sometimes. He throws some kicks in sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah, sometimes all, he does know. big kicks, yeah. yeah. He's not an athletic guy either. No, no, no but... He well slings them kicks yeah. in. But I, I, think, I think our mate Danny put it brilliant the other day. He said, uh, it's not over till the fat lady sings. And then he put, no, it's not over till that tank puts his hand up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there you go. So you another good band around at minute. All is on drugs are called. Yeah. From Wakefield. From Castleford area, they are brilliant. Just got signed. They're touring around at the minute. They are really well worth seeing. Um, Young lads like, but they they've got a big sound. Yeah. Yeah. There's lot. There is loads of good bands around. You know, local bands. Local loads bands. Of good local yeah. Local bands around. Yeah. I don't really listen to much 
it's like I guess you'd say commercial stuff anymore because there's, there's so much good unsigned music about you know just, just get involved with that stuff isn't it? this you know, is it there's loads of it proper talented musicians oh yeah yeah proper just because the thing is now things aren't like they used to be you know so I don't know if you go back as far as 60s uh, there were loads of bands mm. all getting deals yeah because they could all play and sing and you only had to be a bit better than that band to get a deal. And that's it. It didn't actually matter what you looked like either. No. I mean, you could be the ugliest man or woman on the face of the earth, but if so you could it. play an instrument or sing, you were worth your soul. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. now, you see, now labels, they want you to be... They want you to already sound great. They want your recordings to already sound great. You've already got to have your image in place. You've got to have your website up and running. You've already got to have X number of people on your social networking sites. It's like... Where's the days gone where music industry invested some in music? You know, when did you mm. know? It used to be where they'd pick a band up and they'd nurture them. You know, there'd be a development deal on the table mm. and they'd work with them for a while. Cause, you know, you, you might be a great band, but you, you you don't know what you can become unless someone believes in you. I guess you know, and and helps you out a little bit. Yeah, it's it's hard now. You know, it's hard, but you just got to keep getting out there, man. Just keep writing songs and just keep playing, aren't you? That's all you can do. I'm going to say X Factor. Oh, I'm going to get up. I'm going to it there. Have I just insulted you by saying X Factor? Yeah. Is this one of those things that you think has is, is damaged the potential just money, for... money, 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 innit? You yeah. know what I mean? It's, 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 we always say it's style over substance. It's fame know? culture, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there's not... not saying... There's a lot of folk on there who can sing, but yeah. are they really... Are they an artist, you know what I mean? Let's let's look at the greats, you know these great, amazing singers, and then they're known for all time. But who do you remember off X Factor? Silence. There we go. Uh, Don't say Ray Quinn. But I do <laughs> love Ray Quinn. But you see, that's Maybe. Dancing on Ice. I only like him because of Dancing on Ice. And oof, serious. But that's Dancing on like Ice, puppet, and that's different, isn't it? <laughs> Mm. He's on ice skates, he's not singing, he's just <laughs> looking fabulous. Looks like Eddie Munster, doesn't no, he? No, I haven't seen that. I could be insulted. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> I might not have to let him play the next track. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, um, can I just get another band in? Or I think you can, good yeah. At a minute. They've got their EP launch on uh, 8th of March, and it's called Sam S. Park's Band. You know, and they're, they're more down the 60s mod route. Right. But uh, yeah, but they're it's called Night Owl, is EP, and they're... They're going to be good, you know. They're going to be one to watch. So if you're about, that's at the library in Leeds, you know. So get down to that one; should be good. I best just mention Gunnison as well. Cause yeah. We share this room with a band called Gunnison, right? From Wakefield, punk band. Punk. Worth checking out. Cool. I like a bit of punk, and yeah. we're going to leave the last word to Rich. Make it good. Uh well, to bring it a little bit full circle to your first question. Best gig I've ever been to, Billy Idol. Best person I've ever seen live, Billy Idol. Amazing. Wow. There you go. Uh, but in terms of local bands, dead party scene for me at the minute. Dead party scene? Yeah, a couple of, a couple of friends of ours. Uh, I don't really know how to describe the music. It's just really good. Riftastic. We'll leave it at yeah, that. Riftastic? Riftastic. Yeah. And you're going to play us out as well? Mm. Yes. Is, it, is the, <laughs> the song you're playing us out with Riftastic, do you think? Oh, yeah, big time. Dirty. Inspired by Will Smith. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I sense sarcasm. So, the song's called Tick, Tick, Boom. That's Inspired Will Smith. by Boom, Shake the Rooms. Need, don't say any more. That's, That's all you need to say. Check it out. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Thanks for watching. They've been Boxing Club. I've been Aniseed. Thanks very much. Au revoir. Jewsbury TV. Local Music Mag. Yeah.
just change Trying to beat the notion that it's all been prearranged Lose yourself, embrace the feeling, let the inner demons out Close your mouth, this world will be to leave out me with them Stand back and away, just I'm like a time bomb, dicky dicky Stand back and away, just there's just a face round here for two Down back and away just Give me some room Like the time bomb Sticky, sticky Down back and away just There's just a face round here for two Take a minute and take no action Fiction plays the heart Close encounter with the ocean Laughing at the shore Lose yourself, embrace the feeling, let the inner demons out. Close your mouth, this world will be to leave out me with them. Down back and away, just give me some room. I'm a time bomb, sticky, sticky. Down back and away, just there's just a fake run. Down back and away, just give me some room. I'm like a time bomb, sticky, sticky. Down back and away, just. Just a fight round here for Just a place to live for.